Hey guys, welcome to Minecraft. It is Monday, and we are back on track. As you can see, I've done some work over the weekend. I made a little bit of a, well, a huge tree farm. Not a little bit. I went, I went all out, balls to the wall on this. But that's not really what I, what we're working on. I did this to justify the means of what I'm doing down here in this hole, which is what you all want to see. So let me go ahead and show you. I got my water supply down here. I've been working on it a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, I actually had to go back. Oh, crap. Here, I'm just going to switch to creative for a second. I'll show you guys what I did. I made these channels. Uh, these platforms are about 10, 10 wide. I'm not sure how long they are. Uh, because I just went back to the middle of the wall and started the water flow like right here and uh, did a couple of them I didn't want to do all of them I wanted to show you guys how I was doing them one thing I did want to show you guys is this right here uh, this is ice I did spawn in ice because I could not for the life of me figure out how to make the water flow right right here and it's just driving me absolutely insane because if I let the water flow, this water would flow in, this water would flow out in both directions, and uh, it was it was a mind f for real. Like it took me forever, and finally I was just like, you know what? I uh, just be easier just to spawn in some ice. So that's what I did. Hope you guys don't care too much about that. But uh, here, I'll go get some of the supplies I got ready for today's episode, and I'll show you what I did and how I. So let's just go ahead and turn this off. Here we go. And I'm just going to put this stuff up here. And I am doing most of this off camera. Just because of the sheer magnitude of... Of how big of a project this really is. I mean, it was just... Uh, when I started undertaking it, I didn't realize because I've always made the I have made this stuff before, but I've always done it. I've always made it like uh, in my private games, you know. In my you know, I never was recording before, so I could just do whatever I wanted to, and uh, so I never realized it took quite as long to do when you're actually crafting signs and stairs and everything else. Oh crap, that's what I forgot. I gotta go make some stairs real quick. I don't know if I put any stairs in that chest or not. Yeah, I did. It's just, uh, it takes quite a bit longer than I was expecting, so... And a lot of this is just boring work. So, and, um, of course I'll show you how to make the kill device. Which I call the kill device. It's, uh, the lava that flows over them. But alright, so. So that's how you start off right there. And then what you're going to want to do is, is take away this block right here where it goes under this one. And this one. And then you put the stairs down right here. And then you take your sign. And you see this like lip that goes down? You put it right there next to it. Just like so. And then... You put the water down right there on top of the stairs. And let me go. Oh, let me get over here and show you what happens there. And see, it creates an uh, like a, n a non-stop flow. So the mob will just get trapped and pushed, and just keep going all the way down here. So I gotta get more water. So I'm just gonna switch over here so I can fly up real quick. Get some more water real fast. Uh, 
And I mean, this is why I've been doing a lot of this off cameras because this is what it is right here. You can see it's just like tedious work right now. There's nothing like super exciting happening. But I wanted to show you, show you at least how I do one full um, channel. I guess that's what these would be called. That way you can see why I had to spawn in ice. I wanted to, you know, I wanted you guys to know I didn't just spawn in ice just because that was like my first guess at what I had to do. I actually tried to figure out how to do it without the ice, but I am not that ingenuitive when it comes to my stuff is more practical than pretty, I guess is the best way to put it. And see, this is where I run into problems right here, is I only have a little bit of space right here to do something with. So let me show you. See, and then I can put down, down the stairs, to my last two signs. And then water flows out eight, and I only have, like, two spaces right here so that's where the ice comes into play I bring the ice over here and put it down here put the ice right here uh, let me go get some more water real quick See, then you put it here and there and then all right so let me show you what will happen whoa it's already working and see that's not that big a deal right there where I get caught on that lip because the mobs will be jumping and actually moving and so they'll get pushed out that even further but okay so check it out you're a mob you're like walking around uh, uh, oh no I fell in a hole and you're, you know, they're always like this whenever they're in water. Like, ugh. 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 And so no matter what, even if they start trying to go back, eventually they'll just start moving forward. Even if they don't move at all, you get dragged forward, like, pretty nicely here. And I put the... And you'll see where the ice comes into play right here. When you hit it, you go a little bit further along, and then you get trapped on this lip. And I was thinking, oh no, like they're just going to get trapped on this ice block right here. But the thing is, is like they're they're going to be jumping and trying to get out, and they'll eventually fall in here. And as big as I made this, I'll always have a stream of zombies coming, or you know, zombies, creepers, spiders, skeletons, whatever, will always be flowing down this middle channel. And then down here, probably right about here or so. Well, actually, I don't know. Probably up here. I have to make it up there, I guess. Right up here, I'll put two things of lava with signs all around it. And then on this side, make two channels, two holes with signs all around it. And the lava will actually flow across here without falling down into the water. So when the zombies cross underneath it, they like get in it and it burns their head and then their items drop. It'll flow in here and there'll be like a little channel like that goes back around here. If I can work it out, I don't know. I might I might dig a hole here and here and then work it around to the other side. And this will be a glass wall right here. And behind it will be a staircase that leads up to a building and I can come down that, come down here. The items will flow into this channel with its holes go around and come out on the other side and I can collect them and the good thing about glass is they can't the <clears throat> unless it's changed they can't see you I don't think through glass that might be totally wrong but I know light doesn't pass through glass the same way as it does through just the open air so 
wanted to show you guys that. And uh, I'll probably finish the channels out, the water channels, off camera. Just to uh, be able to go ahead and finish those out. And then uh, tomorrow's episode I'll show how I make the, uh, the lava channel down here. A little, well, it's not really a channel. It's just the, the actual kill mechanism for the mobs. And then we'll start working on the staircase on the other side going up to the, a building that I'll eventually have to build up top, which I have more than enough supplies. Because doing these channels right here, you know, I have like a crap ton of stuff. I mean, I, mean, I just have more than enough stuff to build stuff. And the reason I did these trees was because I was building so many signs, I was having to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So finally I was like, screw this. So I went to the other base and actually got all my saplings and planted them all right here. So this is 64 slap slaplings. Saplings. Saplings that I planted right here. So I don't know if they're all trees. They look like it might be all trees now. So that would mean that that's 64 trees right there. But I actually made more than I needed because I only wanted to do one channel to show you guys because it's just such tedious work. I don't want you guys having to watch all that crap. I mean, unless you want to. If you do, just send me a comment or an email or something and I'll be glad to, to do more because I'm not going to be working on it today. So it's not like I'm going to finish it and then get a bunch of comments or emails asking me to finish it on camera, so. Oh, we'll go check on the farm. I haven't been over here in many Minecraft days. My chickens are freaking the F out here, apparently. Get out of the way. Dude, they're just laying eggs like crazy. Look at that, 17 eggs. I ought to kill some of these chickens, I guess. Oh, shit, sorry. Sorry. Stay out of the way, chickens. Oh, crap, dude. That's my bad. Getting out of control a little bit. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a tad bit. Getting out of control here. I don't think I'm actually going to breed anymore until I need to cull the herd, if you know what I mean. Until I need to kill some. So let's go in here. I'm not on normal right now. Because I've been building that thing on peaceful. Because. It's already working. There's already mobs spawning down there. So it makes it hard to work when you got to worry about a creeper blowing up. So I just turned it off. I said, screw it. Why is there just a torch just sitting there? What the shit? What is... Okay. That's really... That's really weird. No, 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 no. Oh, dirty bastard son of a bitch. Why are you attacking me, you stupid bastard? Alright guys, normally I don't do this and you know I don't, but I can't afford that creeper to kill all my cows and destroy all that shit. creepers around my house. It's just bad news waiting to happen. Alright, so see, I'll go ahead and delete it. I just didn't want to get close enough with a sword to hit the creeper because then it would blow up and kill all my cows and destroy my fences and everything else. So. But there we go. That is what I am working on in this world.
Uh, once it gets finished, you'll see exactly how efficient it is. I mean, you will, I, we will collect so much crap. It, it won't even, it'll be amazing, like, how much crap we can collect. We'll be able to craft TNT with no problems. Be able to have arrows without having to make them. We'll have so many arrows, man. The last time I made a mob trap like this, I had, like, just chests and chests full of arrows. Like, I didn't even know what to do with it all. I mean, it was, it was amazing, so. Hopefully, nothing's changed as far as, uh, the, I know they up, upgraded the AI on the mob, so I hope that doesn't affect how the mob trap works. I, I really, I don't really think it will, to be honest with you, because, I mean, the creepers I don't think got changed. The only thing that got changed is they try to stay out of the sun, and there's no sun down in that room. There won't be any light down in that room. You'll see. I'll, want, I'll also record me taking down all the torches, because that room will get dark as hell, so... I don't have any real reason for going over to this other one. It's just wanted to uh, touch base on uh, Whitney Houston dying. That's not a shock at all. I mean, the biggest shock of all is that the fact that she didn't die sooner. And I don't mean to be cruel or anything. It's just she was really just kind of spiraling down out of control. And uh, it's sad because <clears throat> when you listen to, like... Uh, even if you don't like that type of music, that R&B soul type music, like you, you can't you can't say that she didn't have one hell of a voice. Cause I mean, all you gotta do is just listen to uh, oh crap from the Bodyguard. I will always love you. I think it's what it was. It was originally done by Dolly Parton. I mean, that that song, her voice gives me chills. I mean, the song's kind of dated. In my in my opinion, like it's it's just kind of like outdated now. Still a beautiful song, love song, whatever. But her voice, the way she sings it, it it, it, will, it will give you chills when she goes up into that real high falsetto part. Like when the song kind of breaks down and it, and, and like I mean, she just lets it loose. I mean, it's just goosebump central right there. And uh, you know, it's really sad that that she couldn't get her. She couldn't get her life under control and back on track, you know, and that, uh, that it had to end like it did. I didn't, I mean, she is, I mean, the universe lost an immense talent in when, when she, but it didn't lose it Saturday when she died. It, it was, it's been gone for quite a while. And like I said, I don't mean to be cruel. It's just lots of people have problems with drugs and alcohol and everything. I mean, I'm not going to freaking jump somebody's ass about it, you know. But I just wanted to touch base on that, you know, and say, you know, I feel I feel for you with your with the, with the problems that you had, and I don't even think she was doing anything anything illegal. I mean, like the on. Okay, I don't really like to admit that I read TMZ, but I do sometimes go to TMZ to see what kind of crazy shit celebrities are getting into, and uh, they're saying that it looked like some sources are saying that she was taking Xanax before shows to kind of uh, take the edge off of that nervousness, that butterflies in her stomach, I guess. And, uh, apparently if you take Xanax and drink, like, it because you, it gives you, like, a severe dehydration, or not dehydration, what the hell am I talking about, sedation, and they're saying that she, that she was asleep in the bathtub and kind of just slid down into it and she drowned, so, I mean, that's kind of what it's looking like now is that she was on Xanax and she had been drinking like crazy on Thursday, Partying, getting into fights, being Whitney Houston, basically. So, you know, I hope wherever she is now that, like, that, you know, if there's an afterlife, if there's not, you know, I just hope that she's a peace. 
the peace you couldn't find in life. I mean, that's basically, it seems like what addiction's all about, is they just can't find anything else in life to take the place of that, and so they just kind of fall into that self-destructive pattern. Because the only peace they get is from the, dr the you know, the alcohol or the drugs or whatever. I sound like Dr. Drew. Like I know what the hell I'm talking about. This is just my opinion. These opinions do not reflect any anybody else's. This is not scientific study that I've researched. This is just what I've observed with my own eyes. But I gotta say, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I wasn't that shocked. I wasn't a huge fan of Whitney Houston. I mean, her voice was spectacular, but I just never dug that kind of music. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that music's bad. It's just not my cup of tea. But I would have to go, like, a lot of people were shocked when Michael Jackson died. I wasn't shocked when Michael Jackson died. And it kind of pisses me off that everyone just kind of forgot everything about Michael Jackson when he died. I mean, that's kind of BS, in my opinion. Like, everyone was just like, oh, he was such a great musician, and... And, and, uh, you know, and he was just a great person. It's like, that's not what you were saying, like, a month and a half ago before he died. Before he died, everyone was talking about, you know, little boys, little boys. We all know what I'm talking about when I say little boys and Michael Jackson. And, uh, you know, I believe it. To this day, I believe it. I, I have, you don't get accused of molestation that many times in your lifetime without some part of it being true. You know what I'm saying? There's some, there was something fucked up going on there. But if I was going to be honest, I think the the last time somebody's death that like was a celebrity really kind of shocked me and actually made me actually kind of sad was when Heath Ledger died. That that was just a uh, it felt like a kick in the stomach. He was such a good actor. He was he was well on his way to being remembered as one of the greatest actors of his generation. I mean, like, you can say what you want to and jump my ass about being gay or whatever, but Brokeback Mountain was one of the best, like, love stories that I've seen in a long, long time. I mean, that was just, it was a really good story. And, I mean, you gotta have, you just gotta have an open mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be like, oh, that's about gay cowboys, so if I watch it, I'm gay. No, you're not. I mean, that's fucking stupid to even say something like that. And Brokeback Mountain was a good movie. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's a good actor. And Heath Ledger, you know, you know, he was, like I said, he was well on his way to being a legend. And then, uh, of course, you can't bring up Heath Ledger without bringing up the Joker, who is one of my all-time favorite fictional characters. I think the Joker is, is is crazy complex, and in some ways he's more complex than Batman even. And uh, I had never, I mean, I'd read him like how Heath Ledger played him. I mean, because Joker is a psychopathic, uh, you know, sociopath, serial killer, whatever you want to call him. In some of the comics, I mean, he's a dark fucking character. He's not like a jokey cartoon guy like you see on the cartoons. I mean, he killed people. He he freaking viciously killed people and tortured people. And I mean, he like Harley Quinn loves him, and he he just absolutely is abusive to her. I mean, he's a horrible, horrible dude. But at the same time, he's really complex, and he's kind of got this attitude. That's just kind of like I, you know, I do like like how Michael Caine put it. You know, some men don't want money; some men just want to watch the world burn, and that's that fits the Joker. That's the description of the Joker to a T. He don't care about money. He don't care about like personal wealth. He doesn't care about any of that. He just wants to watch the world burn, and I can, to a degree you know for sympathize with that because there's lots of times when I when when stupid bullshit's happening in the world that I just want to watch it burn as well but uh as far as Heath Ledger goes I mean he just nailed the Joker and 
I've kind of gone off on a little tangent here. I've just been walking around doing nothing. So, oh my god, dude, I saw all that green. I thought it was a creeper. That scared the crap out of me. I was like, uh uh. But, you know what? I think that's going to do it. I didn't mean to go off on it or whatever. I just wanted to say, you know, goodbye, Whitney. And, uh, you know, we, lo we, we, lo we lost a great talent in Whitney Houston. But, it, like I said, we lost her a long time ago. It wasn't Saturday when she died. And uh, I hope no one takes that the wrong way and jumps my ass about it. Because, I mean, we all know it's fucking true. Don't, don't just be like, oh, she's dead now, so I'm going to forget all the bad shit she did. Because she was kind of a bitch to everybody around her. Uh, but as far as her voice goes, it was unparalleled. And uh, just, I'll leave it at that, you know. I'll say, Just take this moment to kind of say... I don't know. I don't feel anything about her death. It's not like I'm upset or I'm like crying privately or anything about it. It's just, you know, she was a talent, and it, and it's kind of sad in that respect that she kind of let herself go to waste and and that it had to end like it did without her ever getting redemption. And I know I wasn't gonna go off on another tangent, but now I am. Robert Downey Jr. He was heading down that exact same road as her, and he brought his career back from the fucking dead. That dude, Robert Downey Jr., is, like, now one of my favorite actors, dude. Iron Man was the shit. Iron Man 2 was the shit. Sherlock Holmes was the shit. Sherlock Holmes is my favorite movie, and Game of Shadows is my second favorite movie. And I, I love Robert Downey Jr. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a movie that he was in that I didn't like. I'm going back to less than zero, and if you don't know what that is, then I just dated myself, and I'm an old person. You know what I mean? So, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is just spectacular, and and like, and I really want to applaud him for you know he got into that he he started losing control and he fucking came back and he came back with a fire. So it can be done. It's not like oh well they're into drugs now. You know it wasn't her fault. She, you know, was into drugs. She just couldn't get off of him. Robert Downey Jr. was heavily into drugs. Go back. Just Google Robert Downey Jr. drugs history, and you'll see what I'm talking about. He was probably way worse off than Whitney Houston at some points, and he came back with a fire. And that's what I think everyone hoped for her, and it never, it never materialized. I mean, she kind of like it was like the drugs took a toll, and she really didn't have a voice left at the end. But whatever, I'm going off on it. Uh, you know, I'm sorry she had to die. And uh, I really wish that she could have uh, gotten cleaned up and straightened out before she did, and left a better legacy. But eh, that's that's how that's that's the world. It's not fair. No one ever said it was. So I'm gonna get out of here, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And so, like I said, tomorrow we'll be working on. Hopefully, if if all goes well, uh, we'll be working on the actual lava mechanism kill machine down there. And uh, that's gonna do it for today. So. You know what? Screw it. I don't want to freaking sleep. So, bye!